if I have all this knowledge, if I studied the Bible every single day for hours a day and I, and I had all of these revelations and insights and, and could explain things that no one else could and I could explain how this timeline works into here and if I had all the right theology but I didn't have love, you know, it's not really worth that much. You know, if the Bible says if I had prophetic power, if I could say to that mountain, be thrown into the sea and instantly that mountain just went into the sea and if I could tell people words of knowledge, if I could look at someone and tell them things that only God would know, if I had the ability to hear that clearly from God, that would be pretty cool, right? But if you had that power, but you didn't actually love God and love others, it's worth absolutely nothing. If you even gave away all of your deeds, let's say you had, you know, all of this stuff and you just said one day you just sold it all and you gave it all to the poor and you gave it all away and you didn't have love, it counts as nothing in the kingdom of God. It counts as nothing to God. If you even gave your body to be burned, if someone put a gun to your head and said, deny Jesus, and you said, I will not deny Jesus, and you died, but you didn't love God, you just did it because you felt like it, or, or you just did it because, I don't know, your motivation was wrong. If you gave your body to be burned at the stake as a martyr, but you don't have love, it counts as nothing. It's worth nothing. If you speak in tongues of angels, if you have, can speak in tongues and speak all these amazing words and have a way with words, you're just a cl clanging symbol if you don't have love. Guys, love is patient, it's kind, it doesn't envy or boast, it's not arrogant or rude, it's not jealous, it doesn't behave in, in an inappropriate way. No, it rejoices in the truth, it believes the best, it hopes all things and endures all things and it never fails. Prophecies and tongues, they're gonna cease, right? All these things will go away. Faith, hope, and love will remain, but love remains forever. We're gonna see in a mirror dimly, but then we'll see face to face. Guys, love is the key. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said, all men will know you're my disciples by the love you have for one another. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you. As I have loved you by this, all men will know you're my disciples. Greater love has no one than this, that a man lays down his life for his friends.